Good morning and welcome back to Day's World. My name is Tracy McKee sitting in. Well, I really want to tell you about a great uh, initiative. It's a project, a project rather, that's based at the McDonald campus at McGill University. This is out in uh, St. Anne de Bellevue. Uh, and the whole aim of the project is to um, teach kids about the environment and about nutrition. It's called Farm to School. Now, this initiative started in 2013. And really, this was an opportunity to bring uh, engaging workshops, uh, both on campus and in area schools around the, the St. Anne de Bellevue area. And then in 2014, they launched a Farm to School Day Camp. Well, this is a program that's run by McGill University students, uh, really earnest students, and the project just keeps on growing and growing and growing. So we today we want to also tell you about a new initiative whereby they are trying to create a program, and it's a pilot project this year, where uh, adults... Uh, people living with uh, with special needs will get there and learn real skills um, to work in the agricultural uh, in an agricultural environment. So joining me now is Valerie Tupin Dubé, who is uh, one of the creators of this farm to school movement. We've also got uh, Lynn Eaton Jones and uh, her son, eighteen year old Lindsay Whitmore. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Thanks for having us. Thanks. All right, so Valerie, we're going to start with you. So if you could sort of in a nutshell, just for our listening audience who may not have ever heard of the Farm to School movement, let's just start by telling them what this project is. Yeah, okay. Uh, so Farm to School is um, is a program that we have on the McDonald campus. We do that through the year, and we also have a programmation over the summer. Basically, uh, what it is is we want to teach um, public what it is that what it is that it takes to grow food, but not only this, to teach about what it is the science around agriculture, environment, and nutrition. And our programs have different theme, and they aim they aim to really focus around food security also, just to make sure that we're um, we're. Um, explaining the public what it is, what it is to grow food, but what it is like really to eat healthy and promote this sort of environment, and to teach them skills about how to do that. So that's really the program that we're doing right now. Okay, so uh, for those of you who are at home or listening, you can also go to farm to school uh, for more information on this. But today, you know, this is a program that really keeps on growing, and it's run for the most part by uh, McGill University students. Um, but you're starting this sort of new initiative, which you're calling Ag Connect, which is Agricultural Connect. And this is where Lindsay Whitmore uh, comes into it. So I'll, I'll ask you about that program, then we'll talk to you, Lindsay, about your experience with it. So Valerie, what's Ag Connect? So Ag Connect Inclusive Education. Ag Connect is a program that we starting developing with communities and with like parent that I have around me that that had youth that were that were with special needs and what we wanted to do is include them in agriculture and trying to show them to what it is to grow food and what it is to be in the world of farming and in the world of eating healthy and knowing everything so this program is really is really like a training program where we want to show them different things in the farming world such such as um choring with animals showing how to garden and what it is it takes like what are the tasking around gardening um same thing with chicken so we have some chicken uh, layers outside and um we want to show them what it takes but that really it's possible to do that with everybody. This program is really to try to be inclusive as possible. Um, so we're going to have five trainee people over the summer and we're really going to really build that skill set in order for them at the end of the, the season to get that sort of curriculum vitae really with a lot of like life skills um, around farming. So then after that, it's it's really showing other farmers around us like, yes, it is possible to get um, to have people like Lindsay working with us on the farm. Okay, so Lindsay, you, you sort of got a taste of life on the McDonald farm last summer. Um, and I guess we'll, we can say he was volunteering yes. <laughs> yeah. on the farm as part of the farm to school movement. What's it like for you working on the farm? Well, I got to admit, Tracy, clearly... I like I like to feed the animals and collecting eggs from chickens. What do you like about it? Because I like learning more about farming. Okay, it's a lot of work though, isn't it? Clearly, yes. Yes. <laughs> but it's been a good experience for you? May we. Yeah, may we. <laughs> <laughs> and and Lynn, you're here as well um uh with your son. Uh what's the what 
do you think the experience was like for Lindsay or for you as a, as a mother in terms of the skills that he is learning as part of this farm to school movement? Well, I guess uh, the reality being that we worry about all of our kids in the future. Mm -hmm. And um, with Lindsay, he's incredibly capable. And it was a matter of, okay, what do you like doing? And he loves animals. He loves being outside. And he's big and he's strong. It's like, well, farming seems to make sense. So uh, the opportunity to be part of it last year uh, was fantastic because he found his niche. You know, and it's farming is what he wants to do. So it's a matter now of saying, okay, how are we going to cultivate those skills? And the team that Val has headed up is just phenomenal. The The opportunity is phenomenal. And, uh, and he's delighted with it. Yeah, what kind of work do you do on the farm? Val already mentioned collecting the eggs. But what kind of, uh, what other things do you do on the farm, Lindsay? Oh, well, I like to do um, gardening. Okay. And I like to be learning more about driving a tractor. That's fun. I would imagine that's a fun part. <laughs> but what I don't like doing yes. is picking up manure. Right. <laughs> well, I think that's a fair assessment. I think you wouldn't be alone in that. Part of the game. Uh, now, I, I, I should say full disclosure that I, I know about this camp because uh, I believe in it wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly and sent my kids to the farm to school camp for the past two summers for them to learn about agriculture. So, uh, But this project with working with um, you know people like Lindsay with different abilities to come and, and, and work on the farm and get real life skills, where is this project at right now? So you're looking for five participants. So are you still looking for participants? Yeah, we are still looking at participants. So we would... We would have like two other uh, spot for the the training uh, the training this summer. So um, really, if you guys like people here around Montreal or around Mac in the West Island um, would like to to be part of that Ag Connect uh, Ag Connect program over the summer, please let us know. Call us. Like we we're really looking at having these five people for the pilot this summer to really build that on because we think that it's really gonna help out after. Um, so that's it. And just to complement just a little bit on what like Lindsay was talking about is t is tasking is that. Also for people who works with them, like colleagues and, 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 and me, like last year with me potentially, like primarily I was working with Lindsay a lot, right. is that it's not, it's not about like they're not capable, they are super capable. It's how you actually um, manage, like how it's just in terms of management, it's just a bit different. Mm -hmm. How like um, employees or us, like we're, it's just a way of, of training is a little bit different but it works really well like that's really what I want to push out is that it's not hard it's just the way you do you're, you're you're teaching them so once you get that little sense of like adapting your management it's it's really powerful in terms of like your process on the farm and things like things gets done it's just different in terms of how you're going to teach it yeah um so i really wanted to bring that up and that's why we do the program to give other employees um the tool like at the end like okay this is how you're going to be like dealing with that if you want them to chore in the morning this is how you're going to you're going to bring it a little bit like on the farm so we're really trying to help on that like for the after too like the training and the after all right so one of the reasons that we want to invite you here is to let people know that you are still looking yeah. for participants as part of this yeah. ag connect of course there's always still the farm to school uh day camp that's happening uh, uh but there's also sponsorship money because what our listening audience needs to understand is that this is purely an initiative by McGill students Absolutely. who have started this program and uh, right now, uh, you know, looking for ways in which Lindsay can get paid for the good work that he's doing on the farm and, and other uh, people like um, like Lindsay who will get the opportunity to work on the farm uh, this summer. So uh, sponsorship will not hurt. So this is a, a way to get the word out there about this amazing project that's happening. Where can people go if they want more information, Valerie? They can reach us on the website at farmtoschoolmcdonald.com they can also email us farm to school at gmail.com um, we're going to be answering um, all the time and call you so please contact us through the website um, you can also get information for the Ag Connect through that and email us and we're going to reach you um, as fast as possible we're, we're a team of five right now getting to know everybody um, so yeah exactly on the website alright well thank you very much Lindsay thanks very much how was your first live radio experience 
It was great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Tracy. Lynn Thanks for having and us. And Lindsay and Valerie, thank, thank you, you all very much. Thank it's you. It's uh, 7.56.